Okay, just a quick video on Minwax polyurethane. Um, in this case, I am refinishing these oak stairs. And um, just a quick little video on um, technique. Polyurethane um, is very easy to use when, when you follow the instructions. And a lot of us don't follow instructions. But, uh, and, you know, um, applying polyurethane does take a little bit of uh, practice if, you, if you're trying to perfect it. And in this case, you know, when you're applying it to something so utilitarian like stairs, they, you know, they get a lot of abuse. So, I mean, you want to put as many coats as possible and, you know, it's not a fine piece of furniture. So, you know, you, you don't, you want to adhere to the instructions, but you don't want to go too crazy. So, anyway, just, just a few simple techniques with polyurethane. Here we go. Yeah, all right, yeah, foam brush. Here we go. And you can see I taped off the uh, drywall because um, if polyurethane dries on a drywall, it's a pain to get to remove. So and it will show up. But anyway, foam brush, polyurethane. Um, you wanna you wanna soak your brush in, not all the way, just probably one third of the way in. And um, you know what I usually do is soak it in, then turn it around, soak it in again, and then I'll, I'll lightly tap it. Um, I'm not I'm not squeezing it back in I'm just lightly tapping it to get the excess off because when you squeeze it the foam brush um, will create air pot air bubbles and you'll have air bubbles on your foam brush and they will transfer to whatever you're polyurethaning. Anyway what I like to do is um, obviously you want you don't want to start in the middle you want to avoid any lap marks you want to start from the end and in, in one fluid motion go right across and it's okay if it looks like it didn't take um, just you'll get it next time. You want it's a um, you patience is the key here because you don't want to do this and then you know you don't want to paint it on because it will make a mess and it won't look very nice. So with polyurethane, you just want to do one soft stroke like that, okay? And then once you're done, you bring it over. What I like to do, I know sometimes you'll hear, don't you know leave lap marks, don't overlap or anything. I like to go maybe a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch over the previous um, line and uh, follow it. And depending on the humidity and you know in your house or whatever you're doing, it will, that, that little overlap will settle down. And um, you know just continue on like that you know, but don't, you don't want to do a a painting motion. You don't want to do this or you don't want to squeeze down like that. Um, you just want to avoid all of that because um, just think of it as putting up, um, let's say, a skim coat on drywall. You know, you don't want to be too fussy with your first couple of coats. You don't want to try to get every, it's going to, you're going to have little dry mocks um, just by the nature of the foam brush. You know, it's going to run out. You don't want to go over it by doing this. It's just going to make a mess. So let's, let's go ahead and do it. Um, you will have the tendency of going back and trying to fix any imperfection that you see after you just um, put a coat on. For example, a piece of lint or a piece of hair. Your natural tendency is to try to grab it and get it out of there. Just leave it. You know, you'll take care of it when it's dry. You can sand it out um, because, you know, you'll just cause more of a headache for yourself trying to get it out of the wet polyurethane. Just leave it and let it dry. Um, and that goes to say, you know, not to mention that once you're putting polyurethane on, you do want to make sure that your prep, your prep work is uh, up to speed. You know, you know when, if you're sanding something or refinishing something, you want to make sure that, uh, you know, um, you get all the dust off, obviously, and all that good stuff. So I shouldn't have to tell you that. Oh, yeah, easy cleanup. Just throw the brush right in the garbage. That's why I like the foam brushes. But, yeah, when Minwax polyurethane, I love using polyurethane because just for the mere fact it's so simple to use and um, it's right in the can. And polyurethane is very durable, you know, and it's it's perfect application for a set of stairs or for hardwood floors. Um, so I highly recommend it. Obviously, we all know polyurethane and, uh, you know, just a quick little video on what I'm doing. <laughs> Let me show you how to use polyurethane. You've never seen it before. Let's do it. No.